In this section, we will talk about maintenance and troubleshooting of the carburetor. First, we will begin with the major points for inspecting, adjusting, and assembling the carburetor overhauling. The carburetor, YPVS, and auto lube pump must always be adjusted in this order. When you disassemble the carburetors, it is important to mark the cylinder ID number on each carburetor and put parts in separate groups in the order in which they are disassembled. The lower and upper carburetors can be synchronized by adjusting the heights of the throttle valves. After the carburetors have been assembled, the distance between the throttle valve and the body of the lower carburetor is adjusted by the idle adjust screw using a one millimeter wire. The method for this adjustment is similar to adjusting a valve clearance using a thickness gauge. Then the valve height of the upper carburetor is adjusted using a one millimeter wire, the same as for the lower carburetor. The height can be adjusted by the synchronizing screw which is located between the upper and lower carburetors. Then the height of the valve of the lower carburetor is adjusted by the idle adjust screw using a 0.7 millimeter wire. When you remove the jet needles, needle jets, or throttle valves, or when you disconnect the carburetor connecting plates, you must synchronize the carburetors. Then the carburetors need to be synchronized between the right and left hand sides. Before you begin adjusting them, you must check if the throttle cables are connected correctly on both the pull and return sides. Check if the free play of the flange at the grip is between five and seven millimeters. If the play is not within these specifications, it must be corrected using this adjuster. First, set the marker on the pulley of the carburetor on the right-hand side to the fully open mark on the body when the throttle is completely open. This can be done using the adjuster on the pull side. After the right-hand side carburetor is set to the correct position, adjust the carburetor on the left-hand side. With the throttle in the open position, use the adjuster on the pull side until the pulley mark on the carburetor comes to the fully open mark on the body. Finally, close the throttle valve and see if there is an appropriate amount of free play in both the pull and return cables. As explained in the section for pre-delivery inspections, the idle speed of the engine must be adjusted by the throttle stop screw on each side. Remember, they should be turned equally. The next adjustment is the YPVS. First, you turn on the main switch, so the power valve is completely open automatically. At this time, you must insert an 8 millimeter lock pin into the hole on the joint arm and cylinder to make sure the valve is completely open. Keeping that position, adjust the cables using the adjuster until there is no free play. Then turn the adjuster back by a half turn. And tighten the lock nut. Then remove the lock pin. After the wires have been adjusted, turn the main switch off once then turn it on again and check if the valve is fully open. Then adjust the pump wire. First you turn the throttle grip slightly until the cable has no free play. Keeping this position you must check the next points. 
Turn on the main switch to bring YPVS to the fully open position. Then check if the half open mark of the oil pump arm matches the mark on the pump body. If they are not aligned, turn the pump cable adjuster until they come together. At the end of the adjustment, turn off the main switch once and turn it on again and check to see if the fully closed mark on the pump arm aligns with the mark on the body when the YPVS is fully closed. This is the end of the carburetor, YPVS, and oil pump adjustment section. Please remember when you are adjusting them, the carburetor must be adjusted first, then the YPVS, and finally the oil pump. They must be adjusted in this order always. Now the next section